Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing good and everyone's fine at their place. This is me, Sundar Sinwar, with a brand new show. As you know, at the start of the week and in the end of the week, I always welcome you guys in one of our shows just to have a quick review and just to have a quick analysis of what's going on around the world in terms of education, in terms of literature. So today we have our same panel with us in which we're going to discuss about a very, very important uh, book and a very dear book to my heart as well. The book is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. As you know that we actually discuss our books in terms of literature and movie adaptations. So today I am having the same uh, co-host with me. I welcome Aisha Fez. Hi, Aisha. How are you? Aisha, you are muted. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you doing this? I'm good as well. Thank you so much, Aisha, for coming. Uh, the next I have with me is Lareb Nasser. Lareb, how are you? Alhamdulillah, good. How are you on this? I'm fine as well. Thank you so much for joining in. And I know you have an electric failure, but you're still coming and joining me. I really, yeah. really appreciate that, Lareb. Thank you. Uh, so, as you know, in our show, we talk about literature, we talk about the different, uh, you know, books. But now we have taken a little tour and we talk about how much uh, literature has taken its uh, place. What are the new advancements happening? So I have now we are starting off with a very, very special book that is uh, Me Before You. It's very, very close to my heart, actually, because I believe that it's a very, very well written. Some, some kind of a, a play, I would say, that's not very acceptable when it comes to reading about different books because usually people believe that uh, you know uh, i want to see something funny i want to see something happy i don't want to see something uh, going in a different direction or a romantic novel turning out to be completely about your own self-discovery so talking about the book you guys let's just talk about the author first dojo moise so dojo moise was at she actually shares the same date of birth almost uh, not the same date of birth but the same day as I do, she's the fourth day of April, and I'm really, really happy about the fact that you know she's an Aries too. Uh, she actually won uh, two Nobel uh, awards because of her great writings. She was rejected for three almost years uh, because of her writing, and she was not accepted. Then afterwards, me before you came, and it actually sold around six million copies. And then afterwards, she started off with you know after you, and then there was another sequel to it. Uh, so talking about uh, his her writing. What is that that you actually, when you were reading the book, both of you, you were connected to it? So I'll start off with my co-host, Aisha. So Aisha, you take the lead and tell us. Um, I feel that uh, Jojo Moe, she knows how to, like, you know, um, string, play with the strings of your heart. She um, does not show, like, you know, even in the book that we see, the character of Louisa, um, she's not somebody very glamorous. Um, not somebody very uh, coming from a very high, you know, standard background. She's somebody who's chirpy, who's quirky, who's like fun loving, loves life, wears polka dots and stripes, you know. So uh, showing that sort of character is also very important because everybody should get an equal chance to, um, you know, uh, be seen or be uh, in the limelight. So, you know, I love the way that she uh, puts in that together. She does not show somebody from like a very poor background. But somebody who's a normal living person, who's like a normal girl living in everyday life, you know, does not stand in a limelight, you know, can easily blend into the crowd. That character is what I loved about her. This is the first book that I actually read of Jojo Moe with me before you. And I actually loved the way she portrayed the character. So I would say that for me was something which was very different about her compared to the other writers that I've read. Yeah, I would definitely take your point forward. And if I take Larib's point of view, Larib, what do you think that how much do you agree to that? That how well or when you can uh, read the book, how much you can relate to it? Yeah, Jojo Moyes is one of the contemporary writers I really admire. Uh, just not because the way she has written the novel, but the way I can connect with the characters, um, not only with um, Louisa Clark, just because that she's a girl in the novel, but with Will, the way uh, Will was taking his disability and the frustration he had in, her, in his personality, uh, I can even connect with like with that person as well, uh, even being a different gender. But the most amazing thing about the novel Me Before You is that with every character uh, in many manner, you can connect, you can relate yourself to. 
So true. I totally agree to that point as well. The best part about a writer is that when they write, you can actually connect to them. That's the biggest thing I would say, you know. And talking about uh, now the book is almost done. Let's talk about the characters that people played in the movie, starting off with. Okay, so, you know, uh, Emily Clark, a huge, huge, I would say, great, great casting. Great casting. I would definitely say because the casting was totally on point when it comes to relation with the book. I don't know if Aisha is agreeing to me or not because I can see some speculation on Aisha's face that hmm, so this I don't agree. So uh, maybe maybe uh, maybe it's just because I really uh, I have enjoyed the book a lot. So and the movie as well. So for me, uh, you know, I would really prefer that uh, the casting was done really well. Emily Clark and you know the Bay Will. Everyone was so well, uh, you know, tuned with their character. So I believe that. Uh, Yes, and if I if I take Somia's uh, comment that my dragon queen, definitely I would say maybe because of the fact that GOT uh, somehow made her so strong in front of us that when we looked at her, we knew that something good was coming. We knew that, you know, okay, fine, this is going to be sparkling. Talking about you both, that what was your stance on the characters? I'll ask Larip first because I don't want to put everything on Aisha. Yeah, so for me, definitely, as I've told you that I love the character, um, I love more than the diction, I'll go for the characters, Emily Clark, definitely the mother of dragon. So she's the one she is, uh, she can fit herself into any character and the way she played uh, Louisa Clark's character. Um, definitely, I loved her the way she presents herself, you know, mostly what happens when uh, you read the book and then you go through for the movie. So in movie, you usually felt that the characters are not being played that much well as we have read and we imagine that character the way. But Emily Clark, the way she present um, Louisa, it's the best. The way she um, support Will, it was pure and kind of natural way she present herself, the way she is, um, as Aisha said, that don't want to come in the limelight, like she is a shy person, she wanted to get off the camera. Um, the way she was playing her character, it was like you can imagine this thing and you can say that the word was my imagination. Uh, Emily Clark make herself fixed to that thing. What about the guy? Why are you guys being so biased? I believe that you, you should talk. It feels like a women oriented no, 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 show. No, I'm a huge fan of Cliffling, you know. I've been watching um, uh, his what other movies after me before, before you. It was a very really big part of the movie and you know. Okay. The guy for me is hard. I have a contradiction about uh, the Will's character over here because what I was imagining while reading the book uh, about him, um, the way I believe that the makers of the film uh, make him so grumpy because in the book there was frustration and anger and his disability was there a lot, a lot. But in the movie, to show a little romance and to make it uh, findable and to put the spark in his character. Um, they made a little unjust with his character. So I'm not going to talk about Will. Otherwise, I surely get a friend of me. So I would like Aisha to talk about Will. I, I think I think William uh, Trainer, the character, and I talk about Sam Claflin, I, I believe that somehow he has given a little justice to us. Because when I have even seen him in different movies, he has portrayed this really, really well. So I, I think that, you know, I would def disagree with you, Lareb, and it's okay that maybe I can actually have Aisha stand because Aisha is all over the place when we talk about, uh, you know, uh, Sam Claflin. So let's start with you, Aisha. Okay. Um, yeah, firstly, I see Soumya Kiani's uh, com comment that saying that, yes, he's hot. Yeah, that he is for sure. Um, and uh, thank you for loving the hair. I really appreciate that. Um, though a lot of people say that I look like a clown. Okay, now coming back to the topic, um, I feel Will's character was played really beautifully uh, by Sam Clefman because um, playing a quadriplegic, you know, it's, it's, it's a big deal. You know, one does not understand how would a person be or feel like, you know, what's going through. Uh, somebody's whole body is not working and, you know, he's just, there he has to breathe you know because he, he has to live for his parents he's being forced to live you know um so i feel that was played really beautifully his frustration you know his anger with himself with life 
you know you could see that and then that changed when um you know luisa and enters the you know his life and you know that change that takes place is very beautifully put in together um you know when you were saying that uh, i maybe do not feel the same way about emilia uh, emilia class you know it's uh, i love the characters the way they played it beautifully i just feel that luisa's character in the book was portrayed in a very bubbly manner you know very beautifully but in the movie they exaggerated it a little more like you know she was at, there was a point that i was like okay just go away from the screen like i'm done with you i don't want you there anymore because it was like she was just trying to like you know i don't know it, that that was me after it, during the first 30 minutes um i can't tell you you think so yes yes i'm i'm actually just mimicking an ouch ouch here <laughs> okay okay so you know that that um I feel that that was a little there, but uh, yes, I would agree with Lare to a point where uh, she said that it could have been better. Yes, Will's character could have been better. It could have worked even more smoother. It felt like a robot, sort of at times. You know, there was a little stiffness to his um, character. I feel it could have been a much more smoother. But then again, I'm no critic. Yeah, I think it was more like that. You are doing something that you are being told. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and yeah. Uh, Lisa Clark it was something that was coming yeah. all the way along yeah. with her yeah. naturally yeah. yeah yeah so i would yes i would definitely agree to that uh you know but i feel a lot of louis uh, i feel a lot of myself when i look at louisa's character or when i read about it because i am as clumsy i am as like i would love wearing those polka dot and those striped pajamas and go out and people go like oh my god she's lost her mind you know uh, being uh, a uh, grown woman you know people will be like uh, what the hell is wrong with her but that's me so i love luisa's character it was the first thing that i actually could relate to cuz uh, people hate that about me so yeah by my hair you can get an income yeah definitely i i'm also same like you up, up the thing is that i cannot show my hair but it's kind of red as well so definitely <laughs> i would say that yes uh, but you know what i believe that my stance is a little different when it comes to movies when it when it's in movies we actually express a lot so that we can have a way wider uh, mass uh, you know audience to communicate with and we can actually you know show that you know different people or different genres or different you know things that how they well how well they can be shown so my idea was that if a person who hasn't read the movie or uh, the book and they come in it so i believe that they can actually you know show uh, be shown really really well and uh, to me it has always been very important that whatever is expressed in the movie it's shown really well so definitely i would say that in my way i would say that uh, the movie somehow did do a little justice ab ab mujhe na bura lag raha hai cuz main apna opinion de rahi hu at the same time do log itne shareek khilaf hai na ki ye kyu hua ye kyu hua kya hai iske sath okay no you know that that's so fun in it when there's a balance yeah, or you know there's like yeah yeah ab mujhe maza aayega because aisha i feel like that now we can contradict her as well talking about the big question that always comes and aisha gets giddy and excited oh yes i'm going to say my word now um I should what do you think the movie or the book Yeah because of, I loved the movie I cried like a mad woman <laughs> oh, okay I when I was watching it yeah, oh my god such a movie I'm a Piscean you know being a Piscean I have to cry and over emotions too so like I have to cry but uh, keeping that aside like you know um for me I feel jo book ki ending thi na the 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 part where will dies you know and that last bit that they spent together it was oh my god for me like you know i was like oh my god i couldn't even imagine falling in love with somebody and then you know just seeing them go away so for me i feel movie could have done way better for me that part was a little abrupt you know so what thought of i was waiting both abrupt aaya ke like you know they came together you know and then things started it was fast forward paced and then the end came and i was like oh no a little more please just just a little more so yes that was for me was like no i'll go with the book uh i've total i have turned the pasta for you here like no i am with the book this time you're not i feel <laughs> and not i'm not uh, actually you know just closing my view right now let's talk to larib about it <laughs> what do you believe it was is it team movie or is it team book um i would agree with aisha 
uh, at the point where the movie is too fast, you know. Yeah, I know Sundar is such a big fan of movie, but I, you know, it's not only about me. Before you, I realized that whenever I read a book, and after my imagination, when I watch the movie, I believe the directors and the movie makers cannot compete with my personal imagination. The way I imagine the character of Bill, Emilia, the moments, and specifically uh, the moment of suicide. Yeah, I completely 110 percent agree with Aisha. They didn't put it justice to that. and more accept like more than that i believe that in novel you have a vast um, you know sort of diction a lot of dialogues we could not put everything in 3 hours movie all together so it's not a fault of That's a movie true. or a movie makers but then um, the journey with the reading it's something else you cannot compete with the movie but um, george like uh, the movie maker had made a great i won't say justice but they tried their level best movie is amazing you can watch it uh, more than 100 times you can so if i if i take my opinion and that's the reason that's the only reason why you know i have actually shown uh, somia's comment as well because i just believe that mere sath koi ho because i am the team movie right now uh, okay now, now my reasons why number one a very good casting in my preference i don't know i'm not a critic but i can just you know say that the casting was done really well in terms of their dialogue deliverance uh, the way when you uh, read the book somewhere it says that you know when she sees will for the first time she or she is close to him uh, she kind of uh, you know smells the sun and even when you and it's so weird and it's so weird that somehow i i cannot smell the sun when i'm looking at the movie but yes his character was portrayed so well that somehow mm-hmm. that that you know those writings were coming in my mind i was like yes he smelled of the sun the way he was depicted in the starting i would say so my idea is i am team movie uh reason maybe a, a little biasness because of the fact that i'm an emily clark fan Oh, because of the fact that both of the characters, if the Emily Clark is an Aries, the writer is an Aries. Somehow, I feel like that now I know why the I was doing movie from day one. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, our bi- biasness goes there. But to be on a, a more literal side, I would say uh, it was presented very really well. Even yeah. though uh, I believe that somehow uh, there were a lot of characters that were overshadowed. बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली इन द मूवी जिस तरह से अभी लारेब ने बोला लारेब को मैं इसी बात पर बोलूंगी कि डेफिनेटली कुछ एक्टर्स ऐसे थे जो ओवर शेडोड हो गए या वो नहीं दिखा पाए या कुछ सीन ऐसे थे जो हम नहीं देख सके बट सम हाउ वेन यू सी द मूवी यू काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड यू काइंड ऑफ यू नो प्ले द बुक विद इट अब मेरा आइडिया है अब आई डोंट नो मे बी एम रॉन्ग मे बी एम राइट इट कैन बी कम्प्लीटली बोथ साइड सो फॉर मी आई वुड डेफिनेटली से दैट यू नो इट वॉज टीम मूवी So you guys, hurry up! Tell me what was your favorite scene from the movie? If I start off with Aisha, I think Darip is having some internet issues. Um, mere, you know, just right now, like in my mind, uh, the song "Photograph" was playing. You know, that portion in the movie when that song comes, I think that song enhances it all together. The song itself is so beautiful. You know. just listening to it like that and then putting it together with will and luisa's character you know it is beautiful and as you said um like you know it shows that you know you can she can smell the sun is how she portrays it uh, i feel yes that part for me was like beautiful that song now whenever it i play it it uh, reminds me of the two characters and their bond and you know and another one of the part uh, that i love is when he goes like they tell me something uh, good and he goes like when i was little my favorite things were my bumblebee ties so i could relate to it like you know um, because i have that child within still alive very much uh, so you know i feel yes that that quirkiness in her for me is like those two scenes are like very beautiful is the shoe scene another one i'll keep on going on so like let's uh, let's <laughs> not do it <laughs> Yeah, Larry. Talking to you, you tell us uh, what was your favorite scene or your favorite. Scene? Yeah, one that I has already uh, discussed about, it, and the other one when Emily, oh, sorry, when Louisa Clark enters Will's house in her awful outfit and the way she was confident and she presents herself. Um, it happens, and I I can relate with that because there are moments in my life where I just went in with um, completely different outfit. never even matching with the scenario and but i need that confidence level that the louisa has so i weren't 
to be kind of that person that whatever you are doing wherever you are going you need to be confident it doesn't matter that uh, the people are accepting you or not and the moment when she used to give advices to will rather he wanted to accept it or not but uh, i am that kind of a person i know i love to do motivational speeches so i can relate myself to that character but yeah i love the line uh, written by jojo moyes you can only help someone uh, who wants to be helped and i really need to learn this thing that that's a very very excellent way of portraying it and if i talk about me i have a very small snippet of the novel if you guys you know allow me to read it i would love to you know because i believe that's very very close to my heart Yeah, I would. I would love to hear that. It goes like this: I am conscious that knowing me has caused you pain and grief, and I hope that one day, when you are less angry with me and less upset, you will see not just that I could only have done the thing that I did, but also that this will help you live a really good life, a better life than if you hadn't met me. So you know, I believe that. uh the transition that people have shown uh in it that not always it's possible to have the love of your life it's not always possible to have a happy ending a happy ending can be you actually finding your own self and sometimes it's just like that i believe it's very true to our reality sometimes we don't get a happy ending sometimes we don't get people who are you know there with us so i believe that it's a very happy ending kind of a situation and somehow you can always you know relate to the fact that uh, it's okay it's okay not to be okay and it's okay if somebody uh, you know uh, is not there in your life as long as you know how to carry yourself and how to go forward with it so uh, and the last part of the movie it wins everyone's heart it wins everyone's heart you know go out there live and live and it's it's beautiful you know it's the way he says it and it's the way she portrays the feelings in her that yes you know he's here even though he's not here but he is looking at me so it it's huge it's huge and i i know girls please don't cry so uh thank you so much uh, aisha and larib i really really appreciate it larib i'm so happy thank you so much for joining us even though you had some electricity issues uh, me being a little strict on the time kind of you know pulled you in it and i'm really happy that you did come so uh, how was your experience with us i'll start mm-hmm. off with larib Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kunta. It's been always a pleasure and honor to be with you on this show. You know, I've been watching you for so long, and I always wanted to be the part of your show just because of this electricity and technical issues. I cannot be uh, every week. Otherwise, I'm the one who wanted to be your co-host, and I'm NB Aisha Kunta. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much for calling today. Thank you so much. Uh, if I talk about Aisha, Aisha, how are you, my co-host? How was today's show? Please critically um, analyze me. you know amazing uh, honestly this book is one of my favorites because it uh, goes through a lot of ups and downs you know because our life is such you know you go extreme ups and downs or as my, i have had a lot of them so i wouldn't uh, and uh, you know could be a critique for anything because uh, i don't deserve that i don't i'm not in that status right now but i'll just end it on the note that you know everybody has one life uh so it's a you know it is our um, it's a must for us to live it to the fullest i have, might have changed a few lines from the book but yeah you know something like that that will says i would like to copy it here thank you so much you guys for coming i really really appreciate both of you taking out the time and thank you so much for even having your electricity issues having anything that you guys took out time for our little little review that we do uh any suggestions that you guys have in reference to our uh, literature reviews or if in context do you want to change a book you want to introduce another book please let us know we'll watch it over the weekend we'll try to come up with the uh, right solution me and aisha will you know work hard in finding people who can actually relate with it and uh, try to bring out more good content and if this can help you or if you want us to do more critically analyze the book and you want us to actually put out the different uh, symbols different imagery please let me know i can actually go in that as well if it can help you in any of your researches please let me know thank you so much for your time everyone really really appreciate the people who are actually uh, commenting and they're showing us such good reviews and such you know amazing and uh, beautiful comments thank you so much everyone for tuning in this is me sundar sanwar from ganesh university signing off thank you so much allah hafiz allah hafiz